the act of creating is one of the simplest pleasures in life. Since time immemorial, people have given form and function to the simplest objects. The anomaly we will see today is a special case in which an unknown artist was able to give much more than form and design to his origami art. Item number recipe 368 Object class Safe Special containment procedures SCP-368 has not yet warranted any need for containment. Though it has the movement patterns and behavior common to a normal bird, neither it nor any of its copies, see addendum, have shown any desire to migrate from the offices in which they are stored. Description SCP-368 is an animated origami crane folded from ornate, heavy stock paper. Left to its own devices, it will perch, preen, fly from platform to platform, groom, and occasionally construct a makeshift nest out of nearby office supplies. It responds to human touch affectionately, much as a domesticated bird would. The item demeanor is, on the whole, friendly, and it has been observed to perch on the shoulders of various SCP personnel. Though the item needs no source of nourishment, it appears to sleep at night, in that it places its head under its wing. Studying the physical properties of SCP-368 has proven difficult. The item seems to interpret attempts to capture or contain it as a game, and has displayed considerable agility and resourcefulness in evading even the most focused attempts at containment. How SCP-368 stays airborne and maintains its stability while airborne are still not known. History SCP-368 was discovered in an office building in Japan in 19. Now employed as 141158, a former employee at the aforementioned building found the item in a closet full of office supplies. Upon discovery of SCP 368, 141158 managed to gain its trust in order to move it to a more secure location. Psychological evaluations of 141158 indicated her to be of sufficient mental stability and acuity to warrant a position within the SCP organization. Cross SCP warnings It is recommended that SCP-368 be isolated from SCP-529 and SCP-530, as contact will almost certainly alarm all three SCPs. Addendum 0-22 On 20. While housed in Research Sector 15, SCP-368 began displaying unusual behavior. Instead of its normal routine of human interaction, grooming and play, it began hovering over a photocopier, serial number, flattening itself whenever SCP personnel approached. Doctor 191425 placed SCP-368 into the photocopier and made a copy, upon which another sheet of paper of identical pattern but different hue emerged from the copier and promptly folded itself into a shape mimicking that of the original SCP-368 and the new specimen, referred to as SCP-368-Alpha, resumed usual behavior. Since then, SCP-368 has displayed similar behavior at intervals, varying between 2 and 4 years, while the copies have shown no such behavior. Though initially over zero, this allowed any employee from aiding in the reproduction of SCP-368 and Doctor was reprimanded for his action. Remarkably high employee morale at Research Sector 15 led to the introduction of the progeny of SCP-368 at further SCP facilities. And law. Some anomalies are simple curiosities that, as long as they do not threaten normalcy, can exist as a simple reminder of the peculiarities of our world. Although the interest of SCP-368 in multiplying should be treated with caution, the fact that only the original entity carries out this process greatly limits its risk of exponential propagation. I advise the Coalition Committee to leave the investigation of this anomaly as a secondary objective, while more imminent threats require our attention. You can help us identify more anomalies by leaving your comments and suggestions in the comment section below. I am Virus Disanonimo, 
we at the GOC and you have been informed.